This question says C is a circle with center the origin, a tangent to C passes through the points negative 10, 0 and 0, 5, work out an equation for C. The first thing I would suggest when given a geometry question like this without a diagram is to draw the diagram yourself. So the first thing you want to do is to set up some axes. So this is the X axis, this is the Y axis, and then make a rough sketch. So we want to point at negative 10, 0. This is negative 10 on the X axis. So about here somewhere. And then 0, 5 is 5 on the Y axis. So make it roughly half the length of the other length there. And then draw your line in, something like that and then your circle is center at zero, zero. Okay, so the center's not quite a zero, zero, but you know, it just needs to be a rough sketch so you get an idea of what's going on. Now for this question, you also need to understand the equation of the circle and what form that has. So we know because this circle has a center at zero, zero, it's going to look like x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And you need to remember that the general form of the equation of a circle is x take a squared plus y take b squared equals r squared, where a and b is the center and r is the radius. Now in this case, the center is zero, zero, so a is zero, b is zero, and we just get this. So this is something you needed to remember for this question. Now the only thing missing in this equation is r. So the problem here is really to find the radius of the circle. In other words, on this diagram to find this length here from the center to the tangent. This would be the radius. And we know the radius meets the tangent at 90 degrees. So there's a couple ways you could solve this. One way is to look at this triangle here and work out its area and realize that there are two ways to work out the area of this triangle. You could multiply the height times the base using these lengths, so five times 10, divide by two, that will give you the area. Also, we could use this length as the base. So this length here, let's call that X, and R as the height, and that's another way you could work out the area. And that is going to allow us to solve for R, to find the radius. So that's the way I'm going to solve this. So firstly, using five and 10 as the lengths on this triangle, I can work out the area. So the area of the triangle, I'm not going to label any points. It's the only triangle I'm talking about here. This will be the height. So five times the base, which is 10 divided by two. That's 50 divided by two, that's 25. So the area of that triangle is 25. So to work the area out the other way, firstly, I can work out X using Pythagoras' theorem. So X is going to be the square root of 10 squared plus five squared. So the two legs squared, uh, 10 squared plus five squared is 125. So this is the square root of 125. This can be written as the square root of 25 times the square root of five, which is five root five. So that is X. And I'm going to draw this triangle flipped around just to be really clear about what I'm doing here. So this is this triangle I've highlighted in yellow, but with X now as the base. So it looks something like this. So it's a 90 degree triangle. This is X, which we now know is five root five. This is R, which is the height, which is at 90 degrees. And we know the area is 25. Okay, so let's work out the area now using X and R. So the other way to work out the area would be to say five root five times R divided by two equals 25. And I can use this equation to solve for R. So solving this for R, I would multiply by two. So multiplying both sides by two, I get five root five times R equals 50. Then dividing by five root five, R will equal 50 divided by five root five. And then simplifying this, this would be a 10 on root five and then rationalizing the denominator, multiplied by root five on root five. This would be 10 root five on five, which is two root five. So now I have the radius and I can finish off by writing the equation of C. So the equation of C will be X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. So two root five squared, taking this value for R, 
plugging it into this equation and then simplify so x squared plus y squared equals uh, 2 squared is 4 root 5 squared is just 5 so this would be 4 times 5 which is 20 and that is your final answer there so that is how you find the equation of a circle given a tangent between two points hope you found that helpful and i'll see you in the next one bye for now